the Coalition for Chronic Pain presents, 50 years or more focus on the nerve cells didn't bring us a real solution for neuropathic pain. We have to focus elsewhere. For instance, on the mast cell, and our thesis is that the mast cell, as well as the glia cell, are much more important targets for the treatment of neuropathic pain. Neurons have been in the front of the brains of most neurologists when they think about chronic pain, firing neurons from the periphery into the brain. And the treatment of these neurons will stop pain. All the analgesics which have been created since the 50s of last year have a number needed to treat higher than three meaning that you have to treat at least three or more patients so that one patient will suffer from relatively less pain. How is that possible and how can we make an improvement? By understanding that the glia, the astrocytes, the microglia are much more important targets for the treatment of neuropathic pain. In this schedule, the emergence of neuropathic pain is depicted and many, many glia cells have an influence, step by step. Here, the first picture of 20 years ago, when glia activation was seen in neuropathic pain. This led soon to the emergence of a journal focused on, on glia. And modern techniques more and more show us the activation of glia in neuropathic pain. Here we see a relaxed glia and here we see the contracted glia, the activated phenotype. There is a lot of crosstalk between glia, astrocytes and neurons. Modern research from various schools demonstrated again and again that activated glia produces a lot of dirty molecules like TNF, alpha, interleukins, irritating the nerves creating feedback loops leading to neuropathic pain. And by and by more evidence is gathering that the synapse is much more complicated as we thought and many neuroimmune cells influence the synapse, not only the glial and the astrocytes but also the mast cells. So here we have the pentapatite synapse with five cells influencing it. It all began with the mast cell and the influence of palmitoyl ethylonamide, an endogenous cannabinoid, on the mast cells, leading to mast cell stabilization. A finding of Levi Montalcini, Nobel Prize laureate. In various experiments, Montalcini's group made clear that the mast cell can be stabilized by palmitoyl ethylonamide, an endocannabinoid. Since her groundbreaking work, we know that palmitoyl ethylonamide has a receptor in the nucleus, the PAR receptor, and that by influencing the PAR receptor, palmitoyl ethylonamide has a whole variety of analgesic and anti-inflammatory actions in our body. After spinal cord injury, for instance, the PAR receptor is downregulated a lot. Palmitoyl ethylonamide could upregulate that receptor again to normal levels. Palmitoyl ethylonamide, most probably via the PAR receptor, is a breakthrough in the treatment of severe pain and inflammatory states. Proof of principle has been gathered in a great variety of clinical studies. Most of these are described in Wikipedia. Brought to you by Professor Keppel Hessling from the Coalition for Chronic Pain.